He's got a fault code displaying as the turbo actuator on the dash. You know, just to show you guys really quick, this is the turbo, okay, turbo assembly, and this is your turbo actuator, okay? This is actually what controls your turbo, you know, either to open up or close, depending on how much boost or power you're gonna be needing or what the computer's gonna be requiring, okay? Now this is telling me the actuator is getting stuck or something of that nature. So you either have an internal issue on the turbo or the actuator itself is getting stuck. Something is binding, okay? Now there's a couple of things you can do to test that before you actually start replacing your actuator or the complete turbo, okay? I'm gonna try and show you what those things are. And again, this is the Freightliner Series 60 Cascadia. Or Freightliner Cascadia with the Series 60, okay? Okay guys, so here we are sitting up at the driver's seat. The customer's truck has 910,000 miles. Now I know the turbo has been replaced before, I think about 200,000 miles ago, I'm not quite sure. If you turn the ignition, okay, you're gonna get a couple sounds and whatnot. Now what we have currently on display is a check engine light and a malfunction light. Now this guy has five fault codes. You can go over here and you're gonna scroll through and see exactly what they are. Okay, now currently, hopefully I can hold this still for you guys. SAM controller, engine, service, fault code 123S14 or 14714. If you click over again, that's because this fuel gauge is not functioning properly. And then the last fault code is the engine turbo actuator. Now hopefully we can see that on there. This is what you're gonna see in the driver's seat. SA00, SPN000641, 14, okay? Now when you plug in your software, okay, you're gonna plug in your software, you're gonna go ahead and connect. And let's take a look and see what we have, okay? Okay, so currently we have an active fault code, okay? Turbo actuator, no fail safe mode, motor off. Turbo actuator, fail safe mode, motor on. Turbo actuator, restricted operability. Turbo actuator, temperature warning, okay? Now, if you go here, you're gonna see that it's red, highlighted in red, okay? You're gonna click on that. You can click on the plus sign, and you can click on the, if I'm not mistaken, the counter. And you can see the occurrence counter eight times. It tells you the time that it first occurred, okay? So you get a general idea of what's going on. Okay, now if you wanna try and troubleshoot that, you can, again, you're gonna need the software, now, one of the things you can do here is you go to troubleshoot fault. Okay, next thing it's gonna ask you to go to next. And it does a little test on the actuator, okay? Okay, now we clicked on start and literally right away this little screen pops up here. It tells you your turbo, turbo actuator test. Again, EPA 07. Now it's just telling you what the particular filter is essentially. So this is a DOC DPF filter. This is non-DEF, non-DEF, okay? So you can just click on OK, and you're gonna notice on here, okay, hopefully I can show you what that explanation is, okay. Uh, do, 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 reference, not detected during learn due to mechanical system binding or internal condition. True position not known. Okay, well that does suck because guess what? That probably means your turbo or your actuator is going bad. Now you can do the test multiple times, nothing will happen, but it will either confirm your worst fear that your turbo is probably going out on you or your actuator is going out on you. See, so um, I usually like to do the test about two, three times. Now, the reason you do that again is because sometimes the first test will lie to you. Second and third will give you hopefully some better indications on what's going on. So this is definitely telling me that there's something going on in the actuator, okay? Now, again, something is binding. So we either have a bad actuator or internally the turbo itself is starting to lock up. Okay, now that usually is because of carbon, uh, maybe a number of things, maybe it's just, you know, life of the, the turbo. So if you click on next, we're able to perform the test. Click on yes, the ignition is on. Yes, disconnect the actuator. Now you're gonna have to go through some, through some troubleshooting steps, okay? Some voltages, so it quickly tells you what you need to do. So you're gonna have to have your voltmeter, ohmmeter, okay, is voltage 11 volts or greater. And again, you're just gonna go through the entire process and it's essentially a process of concluding whether your actuator is bad or you might have a bad harness or a bad MCM or your computer, okay? So again, really quick, just wanted to go over that with you. We're gonna do some more testing and if we have to replace the turbo, then uh, we'll continue with this video on the turbo replacement. But this is just really quick, plug in your software, 
and going through some of the troubleshooting okay, steps. Okay, so really quick, what you're gonna wanna do is go up underneath the truck. Now, once you've gone through, or are gonna start doing the troubleshooting, okay, you're gonna need to go down on the passenger side. Okay, there's your turbo right up there. There's your actuator, okay. Here is the harness that comes down for the actuator and it connects right down here alongside the oil pan and the engine block. Okay, now you have three connections. One is gonna be your turbo speed. The other one's gonna be your temp sensor, if I'm not mistaken, that's the temp sensor on the intake side. And then the final one, okay, the larger of all of them is going to be this one here, which is your turbo actuator. Okay, now really quick, to remove that, you slide this little red release here, push back there, okay, and you should be able to just pull it apart, okay? Now, as you can see, in there we have a little bit of oil in the harness, okay? So that could mean we've got some contamination, and that might be causing this entire issue, okay? And those are our connections, our pins right there, okay? It could actually have some numbers. So that's where you're gonna look for pin one, two, three, and four, depending on what your troubleshooting is gonna be asking you for. Now in this case, we're gonna look for pin one and two. Okay, we're gonna check the volt supply, okay? So really quick, I just wanted to show you that. Sorry for all this shaking. Okay, again, those are the three plugs. You're gonna unplug the one that comes from your turbo actuator and then you're gonna check it, okay? You're gonna check the harness that's gonna go from the MCM, which is the computer, to the actual actuator, okay? You're not testing the actuator yet. You're simply testing the supply that's coming from the computer, okay? Let's go from there. Here that I was telling you about, this is where the turbo actuator gets mounted to, okay? This little pin needs to align with that one. Now you're gonna see, okay, it doesn't completely align at all. It's actually kind of about a quarter inch off, okay? I don't know if you can see that in there. Okay, that, again, this hole needs to align with the hole behind it. So, see if you can see that in there. Sorry, it's a ugly video, but anyway, that's what we're gonna do. All right, everybody. So, right now, we are currently just trying to check the actuator to verify that the actuator is either good or the actuator is bad i just showed you right now that the turbo itself okay that gear that's mounted on there obviously it's stuck because it's not traveling as it should okay now in order for you to install and calibrate properly you have to be able to move that turbo gear to align properly and then you mount the actuator okay so right now I'm just gonna do a quick test to verify that my actuator is good okay so what you want to do is you want to go to actions you want to go to your oh crap I forgot where this thing is at give me a second turbo actuator so here's my turbo test or my action so you're gonna go here to the pre-installation self calibration or the test okay now we can just mess around with this and do the test for now Obviously, we still have something going on, so let's go with pre-installation, okay? And it tells you, step by step, it's actually pretty simple. So this is if you're gonna be replacing your actuator or testing your actuator while it's not on the turbo, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Boom, so as we know, our actuator is good, okay? You see that little check mark there? Uh, in the video itself, you're going to see that when it's not good, you're going to see obviously a black X on there. Here we have a check mark which is telling you success, success, success. Okay, now I'm going to do the test one more time just so we can verify that we're getting a good reading. Okay, click on next, click on start. Uh oh, timeout, one step. So that probably doesn't allow you to do it twice for that particular reason, okay? I'm just gonna go through it. Just again, for the sake of this video, right now the turbo actuator appears to be good and the problem that we are having, okay, here's the pre-install. Again, we're gonna go to, okay. Now this is just, again, checking to see that the actuator is good. Sorry guys, I'm, there we go. Click on next. Now we're gonna go to 
dark and here is the test up oh, aborted time out step one okay so obviously we're taking a little too long here but again it did pass the first time I'm gonna try and do it again I'm gonna cycle the key sometimes that'll let me do that but apparently it looks like we do have a good actuator okay I'm gonna exit out of the program I'm gonna kill the ignition right now in a second and we're gonna do it again so you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and launch your triple DL software which again you have to have in order to start doing some of these things okay there I cycled the key as you can hear that and we are gonna go to ah, damn okay click on okay so right now it's gonna go ahead and log on it's gonna go ahead and connect to the MCM CPC all that good stuff and we're gonna go to our actions we're gonna go to actuator okay you're gonna go to your pre-install test you're gonna go to next I'm gonna go to start and let's see exactly what happens here. Boom, check mark. So again, actuator appears to be good. And I can say that certainly that uh, the turbo appears to be the bad, the culprit here. So at this point you can decide one of two things, what your customer wants to do. Does your customer want to simply rebuild that turbo and use the old actuator or simply get, a, get everything from the dealer? That's up to you guys. I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, hit me up. Your comments are always uh, appreciated. I definitely don't mind answering questions. Have a good day.